Welcome back to another video by Paxava Tech. Today we're going to be having a look at the TP-Link uh, Jetstream 24 port gigabyte stackable smart switch. This one have four, this one have four 10 gigabyte um, SFP plus slots on it. So, um, so which make it a total of 28. So 24 one gigabyte slot and um, four 10 gigabyte slot. All right, so let's open them back up, the box up. Let's open the box up and have a look at it. And this is the business. This is strictly business right here. All right. So. What's included in the box? CD, of course, drivers and etc. Okay, we have this is the I think power cable for sure. We have as usual the brackets for the server rack. This is also a one U. So, this is what the device itself look like. All right, so TP-Link Jetstream, 23, I mean, 24 ports, so eight, 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 24. Over here, you have, to the right, you have your, your SFP plus, where you put your tran transceiver in. All right, so one, two, three, four. Uh, these are the lights over here to tell you what ports are lit up. And of course, the, these on the side right here tells you your 10 gigabyte, 10, your 10G slots. So this is it. No back, power, Kensington lock. And uh, this is fanless. I don't see any fan in it. Nope, no fan. So I'm gonna install this and I'm uh, we're gonna boot into the uh, the menu so just to just so you know this 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 right here this is where you, you have to install this in your computer in order to get to the uh the web group and what does this does it um a search for switch and once you search for the switch it'll let you know what ip is on so you can pick it up All right, let's get going. So real quick, we're gonna go ahead and uh, slap the brackets on it. The, the mounting brackets on. So you put these brackets onto your, um, inside of your switch, and then you can put it inside your um, server rack. Now, if you don't have a server rack, you can use these small legs right here. You can use these right here. You can use these, um, those little legs they made out of um, sticky tape that you can put it on the bottom of it that allows here to flow in between the surface you put it on 
along with the um, yeah, the surface you put it on. So here it can go between the surface you put it on so it can keep it cool. All right, so we're screwing in the brackets here. This is the brackets on the side for the, for the server rack. All right, let's see, okay. And you're gonna do the same thing for the opposite side. There we go. So it's just basically four screws on each side. So once we install this, I am going to check it out. I can't wait to actually use this thing. All right, five of eight, five of eight screws are in, <laughs> six of eight now. Kind of wish they put a fan in this though, but I guess uh, if your room is cool, yeah, you wouldn't have to, you don't have to worry about a fan, but in certain situation where your room is not ex a room your components are in are not completely cool, or I should say your equipments are in are not completely cool, then a fan will actually help. But other than that, should be good. All right, those are in. Okay. All right. 